Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, August 12, 2015, and let's get to it. It's been a while since we've seen William Bonex's name pop up on the bodybuilding radar. After winning the Russian Hot House Pro to finish off the season last year, Bonek did his best to remain hidden for the better part of 10 months. But it looks like the Dutch powerhouse is ready to make his triumphant reemergence less than five weeks from today, when he makes a return trip to the Olympia stage. Last year's contest didn't go quite according to plan and ended with Bonak finishing a disappointing 15th. But with an entire year to sharpen his blade of redemption, it's a very good bet in Las Vegas that Bonick hits the stage at his all-time best. A few weeks removed from a disappointing 8th place finish at the USA Championships, New Jersey's own Phil Vissacaro is already back to work putting in some hard days at the office. Over the weekend, Vissacaro released some new footage from a recent back training session, four weeks out from making another run at his pro card at the IFBB North Americans. When asked about what sort of changes we can expect to see from him, Vissacaro told Muscle in the Morning, quote, My issue is fullness, plain and simple. My physique is like night and day when I'm full and when I'm flat. I'm planning to take the stage around 236 to 244 pound range. But my focus for now is getting shredded. Phil Viz isn't the only one enjoying his post-show rebound. USA light heavyweight champ and newly minted IFBB pro Thomas Lenahan is also looking pretty mean these days. Two weeks after delivering the best performance of his career, Lenahan looks to be packing on some solid new muscle and says that he's currently tipping the scales at a very lean 212 pounds. According to Lenahan, coach Don Long and he are currently discussing when and where you'll see him hit a 212 pro stage next. And given his current level of conditioning, it shouldn't surprise anyone one bit to see Lenahan sneak into a pro show before the year's over. Less than 40 days out from making her Olympia debut, Kira Newman is busy putting in some serious work. It's been quite the year for Newman thus far, who's managed to earn convincing wins at both the Chicago Pro and Prestige Crystal Cup, after nearly a two-year absence from the stage. This year's new and improved and totally badass version of Newman has yet to taste defeat, but soon she'll find herself standing on stage with the biggest and baddest woman in the entire physique division. And knowing she wants to be more than just another face on stage, I'm sure she's buckling down, keeping her foot on the gas, and making sure she brings her A-game to the Olympia stage. It looks like Antoine Valier is making a serious run at getting back on stage in the near future. Valier was spotted in the gym knocking out a good old-fashioned bench workout recently, and I think it's safe to say that he's got things firing on all cylinders once again. We haven't seen Valier take the stage since his rookie season back in 2013 when he had two forgettable performances at the New York and Toronto Pro Shows before deciding to take some much needed time off from competing. But this 2015 version of Valier is looking dangerously improved as of late and Valier finally appears to be ready to throw his hat into the ring once again. And if Valier can manage to do the work and bring in the premium level of conditioning we all know he's capable of, he has a great shot to make a significant impact in any lineup he faces. It looks like Miriam Capes is fine-tuning her stage presentation a few weeks out from making another trip to the Olympia stage. Over the weekend, Capes was the featured guest poser at the London Natural Provincial Championships, where fans and attendants got a chance to see one of the best performers in the entire fitness division put on a show they won't soon forget. This year's contest will be the eighth time Capes has competed on the Olympia stage, and given the improvements she's made during the course of her offseason, it shouldn't surprise anyone one bit to see her bring home a top three finish. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passion. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.